Hey guys, it's me Gnoshi again. Um, it's been a long time since I made a video, but um, I finally got my new computer and a new headset. So, um, yeah, I decided that it's finally time to create my affliction guide. So, here you go, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so first of all we're going to talk about stats. First, we're going to talk about circuits. So, I syncrafted my character a lot of times, and I came to the conclusion that mastery is the same as intellect and damage DPS uh, gain, but a pure mastery gem gives double as much mastery as a pure intellect gem would give. So, I gemmed my gear with yellow circuits, 320 mastery, and then, as you can see, other circuits like greens is 160 hit and mastery, and Reds are 80 intellect and 160 mastery. So yeah. Um, and of course enchants as well, like my braces I put in mastery as well. Um, now for reforges, I use the add-on called Reforge Light. You can either make a priest take a preset that someone else created, but that usually sucks. What you want to do is make your own, like you have your head cap here. Then you have your haste cap, which is either 4717 or it's 6636. Um, depends what you want to go for, how good your gear is. I prefer the 4717, which gives an extra tick on corruption. Um, so yeah, I prioritize hit cap, haste cap, and then mastery. I put it 8520 mastery because my add on sometimes. Reforge mastery into crit for some reason, so I put like a high, high cap value uh, for mastery, so that I don't get any crit at all by reforging. Uh, as you can see, this is my final stats. I got 4,724. That's the closest I can get to my haste cap without losing too much of other stats. And then I got a shitload of mastery, of course, and hit cap. So that was it for the stats. Um, Okay, let's talk about add-ons. The first add-on I want to talk about is Knock Combo Bar. Uh, I use it for my water because it gives a pretty good little bar for my soul shots down here. So you can see how many soul shots I got. Pretty close to my other stuff. Okay, I also use Omni CC so that when I use something that has a cooldown, uh, there will come a little number on the icon <coughs> so I know when that ability is ready again. <laughs> Then I use quartz, which is a um, cast bar, you can see here, this cast bar. It looks pretty cool, and then I can have a cast bar in the middle of my screen when my target casts something. So I'm sure that I see when the target casts something important. Uh, I use RSA, it just announces your rate when you, for example, use Ritual of Summoning. So, yeah. Then I use Scatter, which is a damage meter. Um, it's way better than recount in my opinion, so that's just it. I use t tidy plates, which is excellent for multi dotting. It gives like your uh, enemies uh, health bars, and then puts the dots you have on that enemy all over the health bar, so you can always track your dots everywhere. Um, then I got some hidden add-ons. I got of course DBM, which is good for just rating all. Then I got bartender which is my boss you can set up and then I use week hours uh, for my dots and up times as you can see here I got all my dots and I got all my procs and trinkets and shit like that so yeah that's the add-ons I'm using okay now let's talk about what we can call the rotation for work. there's not really a, a rotation more like a priority list which there is for every class in the game basically. So yeah, first of all you want to keep up the soul burn out of combat. So you have a chance to time it uh, with your rate timer, pull down timer. Um, what that means is that when this goes to 10 seconds you will get a uh, soul shot. Um, and then when you pull you got 4 soul shots plus and soul burn. So you see now. So I precast, I of course yeah, I precast Haunt, and I just apply all dots. Uh, I'm not gonna put cooldowns now, because this is just basic rotation. You use True Times Malefic Grasp, and then because I got more uptime and some dot procs, I use the Soul Burn again, and Soul Swap, so I got all my dots up again. 
Don't do this in the middle of the fight, it's just in the beginning, gives a good burst because you get everything up to begin with. Um, try to keep horned up as much as you can. Um, and then if you get a proc, uh, you should just use a hellfire, uh, fell flame I mean, sorry, uh, and then refresh your agony so that your dots gets refreshed uh, with the spell power that your proc gives, as you know. Um, when you put up a dot, it takes a snapshot of your current intellect spell power. And even if your prox goes off, that dot will still take effect. Now I got a dot, so I'm refreshing loose. And that will just keep going. So, that's basically it just for the rotation. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to burst as a warlock. It's not just popping all cool, as you'll see. Um, I'll go now. So I pre pot and then I cast on Pop all cooldowns plus Doom God and then Source Weapon. Now I use True Malefic Resps, Source Soul Swap, and then Horn so that I got all my uptimes up on the target. And I'm just gonna use Malefic Resp as much as I possibly can doing this. Um, and of course, keep Horn up. Do not refresh your dots until like 1 0 0.5 seconds because now they're affected by all your procs and they are so strong now you have to refresh them no not run out of course but try to refresh them on as low as possible um, that gives the best uptime or whatever uh, i still got some procs up now so i like to just refresh it now um, yeah you can see i have chase for it up but uh that's it basically for the burst um, and you start out like that of course use your second uh, potion on heroes basically. or if you see stormless totem or something like that yeah. that's basically it for the burst i'm gonna talk about when you use curse of the elements and when you use doom god okay i usually never use curse of the elements because i i have got really used to raiding 25 man where you got boomkins and shit like that that does the same debuff and you don't have to so i never used it basically in this video i didn't use it either so i might i could do higher dps than you have seen but um yes if you're raiding 10 men and there's no boomkin no unholy death knight no subletly rogue then use it keep it up on your target make a weak hour for it doom god uh, ask the guild when they pop your risk. If they pop your risk on 20% heal from the boss, then wait for that. If they pop your risk in the beginning, you of course pop it in the beginning. Um, if they pop it in the middle of the fight, you also pop it in the beginning, because either you're gonna use it with all procs up and all cooldowns up, or you're gonna use it on 20% with heroism up. Um, yeah, that's the two points where they're, where it's gaining the best. Um, Try to have your potion up when you use your um, Doom Cup so that it gets really strong. It scales on your uh, stats like crit, haste, mastery, inflict, all that crap. It doesn't snapshot anymore, so did a cataclysm. So it's pretty nice. For the talents, um, I don't want to go through all the talents as they are really optional most of them except Grimoire Sacrifice. Always take Grimoire Sacrifice unless it's a pure multi dot fight. When I say pure multi dot fight I mean you never use Malefic Grass Pond or Brain Soul which is so rare that you basically just want to go with Grimoire Sacrifice all the time. I prefer Kill Jaden's Coming on many fights um, because they changed it so you don't get DPS decrease when you move. Uh, you only get a movement decrease. Uh, so you can just keep casting Malefic Grass while moving all the time. Uh, I like the true others, but it's like depends on the fight. I use Manoroth's Fury for uh, Legan for the uh, add phase. I can just spam it, uh, spam Seed of Corruption all the time, and keep hitting them. Uh, I command this Vengeance. I haven't really used it after the change of Kaldiadin's Cunning. I prefer that over many fights. Um, yeah, there's nothing really else I can tell you about talents other than Unbound Will, think about it, it's a PvP trinket. On 4 kings, if you get trapped by the arrow, you can use it to get out, like mages can blink and shit like that. 
other than that dark brigade survivability death mortal call you can heal yourself dark renegation regeneration you can heal yourself good survivability helping the healers pretty much yeah basically it for the glyphs it's just basic have a glyph of soul shots and have a glyph of soul swap and the last one you choose just choose two very important yeah that's it for the talents and glyphs So yeah, and that was it from me. Um, I could have popped some defensive cooldowns and stuff like that uh, to survive before, but it uh, doesn't matter much. I don't want to make the video too long anyway, so yeah. Have fun, uh, comment, rate and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Um, this is my second guide video, so... Well, uh, throw a comment if you want me to do something else, like filming heroic bosses or whatever you you like um yeah see ya